welcome back to the Modern Woman Warrior Show. My name is Louisa Kate. And I'm Amber Fight. We'd like to welcome back all of our warrior women who have already joined us on the quest for self-defense competency by hitting the subscribe button. We want you we want to learn all about your journey, so tell us about them in the comments. And hello to everyone who is joining us for the first time. We are so glad you are all here. This channel is created by women, for women, and is centered on all aspects of personal protection and self-defense. If you want to join us and become a Modern Woman Warrior, then just hit the subscribe button and stay tuned in the upcoming weeks as we announce how you can join the Modern Woman Warrior Corps. Luis and I just got back from the range. It's been a really long week. No time for showers. Throw on a hat and here we go. Today's episode is very exciting. It's called Shooting and it's all about the skills that we need to shoot fast, shoot accurate. We are starting a series on using a handgun for self-defense, and this is the first episode in that series. You don't want to miss any of it. Self-defense with a pistol is a hot topic in society today. We talked about some of the common and dangerous misconceptions about concealed carry in a previous episode. That's right. The idea that you just strap on a gun or throw it in your purse and you are automatically safe is just simply not true. Experts from NRA training to Gunsight Academy and virtually everyone in between will tell you that it is absolutely not true. The answer that all the experts agree on is the need for CCW training. Our shooting, shoot fast, shoot accurate series will show you the fundamental d defensive pistol skills you need to develop. Again, it is critically important that you work on the live fire skills at your range under the supervision of a certified instructor. Louisa and I met Karen and Darian at 17 South Rod and Gun Club to work on these fundamental pistol skills. Karen, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey as a modern woman warrior? Okay, I started shooting about two years ago and I took a gun safety class with Louisa and Grant and I learned a lot there and I want to continue um, shooting. Good. Darian, what about you? I also started a couple of years ago. My boyfriend got me into it, and I just want to get more comfortable with the gun and learn how to defend myself if the time ever comes. Awesome. Great. Welcome. Awesome. These are all good things. So we're going to start out by having Amber talk about stance. Well, first, let's see how you guys do using the grip and stance that you guys have been using up until today. Great. Before we start, we want to make sure it's clear that any time we are shooting or pointing a gun, blue gun or otherwise, if the camera is downrange, we are using the remote. There is never someone behind the camera downrange. First, let's see how Karen and Darian do using the grip and stance they always use. We had each of them fire 10 rounds as a baseline. They were told to take their time and to use their best marksmanship. We started from the compressed ready for this drill. We will get to, to how safely draw a pistol from the holster in another video. Once we had a baseline for their marksmanship, we worked with them to see what we could do to improve their stances in order to give them better stability and the ability to move if they need to. The most important thing about a good defensive pistol shooting stance is that your stance needs to be stable and balanced as well as comfortable. So the first thing we need to start with is how not to stand. You do not want to be a candlestick. If you stand like this, you have no balance and you're not stable. The next thing is you do not want to stand like you are walking on a tightrope. Again, you are not balanced and stable. You have to take extra steps to be able to move. You, do, you don't want your head over your feet. You also don't want your head too far back. The last place you want to be if you're defending your life is on your back. Now let's look at the correct way to stand when we are shooting. First, let's go back to that candlestick position. Then we're going to turn your right foot out at a 90 degree angle. Now lift your heel and pivot your toe so that your feet are parallel to each other. Now you're just going to move your right foot out a bit so that your feet are parallel and slightly wider than shoulder width apart without moving your foot forward. You want to make sure that your feet are pointed toward the line of fire. You don't want one toe pointed off to the side because it makes you less stable and leaves you unbalanced. You may be thinking that we have said stable and balanced a lot, but having your feet in this position makes, you much, makes it much more difficult to be knocked off your feet. Ladies, I am here to tell you, if you are defending your life, there will be physical contact. We will talk about more about preparing yourself mentally for physical contact in our mindset series. So keep checking back on our channel. You don't want to miss any of the mindset series. It's really important stuff. 
The next step is to make sure that your weight and posture are correct. In general, you want to lean slightly forward at your waist. Your weight should be balanced and on the balls of your feet so that you can move easily in any direction without taking extra steps. Now, let's get you set up for proper body and head position so that we can maximize your accuracy. We are going to start with a dominant eye test. It is really important to know which eye is your dominant eye so that you can properly align the pistol behind the correct eye. Many of you have heard the story that I tell about when I first started shooting. I was lining the pistol up behind my right eye and I'm left eye dominant. I couldn't hit the backer at all. Once I got my dominant eye straightened out, I started hitting the center of the target and I was so excited. Amber, let's do that exercise with all our viewers so they know which eye, which eye is dominant. So, you're going to put your arms straight out in front of you and make a small triangle. They should be about the si size of a silver dollar. Find something to use as the target. Why don't you just use the camera as your target, Amber? Okay, there we go. okay good. Now, bring your arms back slowly toward you while you're keeping the target at the center of the triangle. Your arms should come back to your dominant eye. Very good. It came back to your right eye. Is that your dominant eye? It is. Okay, so if you came back to, uh, a, to the center of your nose or if you're still not sure which one is your dominant eye, that's okay because there's one more way to do it. Mm -hmm. So now extend your arms back again and let's make our triangle. Now I want you to close your left eye. If your right eye dominant, your target is still there. Is your target still there? It was. Very good. If your left eye dominant, your target will have disappeared. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why I couldn't hit the backer, because it disappeared every time I lined the gun up behind the wrong eye. If your target disappeared, try closing your right eye and see if it comes back. Now, since both Karen and Darian are both right-handed and right eye dominant, we started them with a position called a modified isosceles. As the shooting experience, as their shooting experience develops, then they may end up moving more towards another stance, like a modified weaver stance, which might be more comfortable and work better for them. But for starters, a modified isosceles stance is a really good solid position to start with. Look for a future episode on this channel covering a number of different shooting stances and the strengths and challenges of each. Notice that in our example here, the pistol comes up to the eyes. You never want to dip your head to the pistol. This changes your line of sight and will mess with your accuracy. Let's take a look at how Karen and Darian did when we changed their stance. We had, shoot, we had them shoot using their new stance. Remember, we aren't going to change their grip until the next episode. Just a little bit left. So think about that. One drop of water coming out of the tip of the pistol. One drop of water. Perfect. One drop of water, Kim. Wow, that's amazing. Both of them are shooting better just by changing their stance. We told Karen and Darian to make sure that they practice at home with an empty gun. Otherwise, they will devolve back to their old stance every time they shoot. We have to make sure that we make this muscle memory so that we don't have to think about it before we do it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are so glad you joined us here today and we hope that you will click on the end card. Don't forget to leave us some comments about your journey. We will respond to them and we would like to know what your training is like as you become a modern woman warrior. Be sure to come back next week for part two, grip, of our four part series on defensive pistol shooting. Shoot fast, shoot accurate. Bye guys, see you soon. See you soon.